Greetings, I'm Hope Vince, and... And I'm Nate Vince. <laughs> um, and we are uh, the founders of the hashtag Dirtbag Odyssey. Um, so you may have been following our adventures with that hashtag, or you also might have no idea what I'm talking about, and you're just checking out this video because you're really into van life. And that's okay too, so we appreciate that. Um, but basically, uh, some background, um, we have been living off the grid for the last four years. Uh, six months on, we live in Vermont and we were employed then uh, in various cabins and other off the grid shelters. Uh, in, in the winter for six months, we actually live in our van. So um, you'll see here, this is our sticker. Uh, these are all of the places that we've traveled to in just this van. So uh, we've been to some of these other states, but they don't count unless the van has taken us there. So um, we call our van Goosey. So here's our um, our plaque made by Nate's brother, Micah Vince. Um, very good work there. Um, but right now we're in Idlewild. It's uh, a rest day. We've been climbing to Keats, which is phenomenal, but we just cleaned out our van and we figured it would be a perfect opportunity to give you a tour and show you all of our customizations. So enjoy. Welcome to the van. Come on in, I'll show you the inside. All right, so this is the inside of a standard, not so standard anymore, a Honda Odyssey. Uh, when we first got this, we had uh, the bench seats in here. We took the metal row out, and then um, we used to sleep with our feet under the bench seat and put our tubs on top of the bench seat. Um, the floor used to be irregular because of the brackets for the seats in the middle row and um, the tubs uh, would fall off the seats when we would drive and then our feet could barely fit under there. Uh, since then we've made it so that you can slide your feet underneath here, more of the seats forward, um, a foot or so, which gives you enough space. Also the floor is flat wood with carpet insulated underneath, uh, so now we have a really flat surface uh, to kind of sit on and hang out inside, um, organize stuff. Um, We've uh, built cupboards, uh, our cubbies up here, one for me, one for Hope. Uh, keep just stuff that's loose floating around, guidebooks, whatever. Uh, tubs go up here, stuff that we don't need that often. Here's the tent that we used to use the first year almost every night and then live out of the van and now we uh, have used it, I think, once this year. <laughs> um, we have floor cubbies in the floor for personal stuff, shoes and hope side, that's her personal stuff, lines and electronics, and uh, whatever accessories, keep all, and then in the floor here, used to be the spare tire, which is now in the roof rack, and this is all um, extra wet wipes, Q-tips, kind of a surplus of things that you can get for cheaper, and uh, stock up on those things. Uh, so that gives us floor storage. Also, I put uh, heavy stuff down there, guidebooks, pitons, hammers, drill, bolt, uh, anything that's uh, heavy. Uh, the Goal Zero battery is right here. That is uh, charged from the solar from the roof. Um, that is kind of essential for being off the grid and isolated for some time. We hung a cable up here to hang, tend to dry out climbing shoes, headlamps, dust masks, uh, carabiners, whatever we tend to find. Uh, just got this, just in case we catch on fire, we have a way to put the fire out to kind of keep our valuables valuable. Um, curtain is essential for uh, camping at Camp Wally, aka Walmart. <laughs> put that up, kind of blacks out the light so we can sleep a little bit. Uh, more comfortably, more privately, and then uh, sure I'm forgetting something, so I'm gonna pass it back over to Hope, and we'll see uh, what she has to talk about. Points. All right, so um, Nate mentioned everything that he's done, but I also want to just go over some of the tweaks that we've done over the years. So um, first of all, when Nate first built this floor, it's just a wood floor, which is beautiful. It looked very nice. Um, and it's actually very, you know, it's perfectly level, it's insulated, so it's really warm. Uh, but what sucks about having a wood floor is that when we drive around, actually our tubs and everything would slide across here, like, constantly. So, um, we actually added the rug, um, which is actually really clean to, really easy to clean, I mean, and to vacuum or sweep out. Um, but we added the rug and now stuff doesn't slide and it also feels a lot cozier, which, um, we like. 
I also want to mention that the benefit of us sleeping on the floor um, is, you know, a lot of people uh, end up building up beds in their vans and then have storage underneath, which is really nice. Uh, but what sucks about that is that you can't sit up ever. So you're always kind of stuck in a laying position. So if you want to hang out in your van, um, it's a rest day or um, you're, it's raining out, uh, it's hard to even sit up and read. So um, for us, we can sit, you know, easily just sit uh, in our van without our heads hitting the ceiling. Um, it's a little bit more comfortable to hang out. Paradise. Um, and we also have more storage here, I believe, and then, you know, stuff that uh, our feet can go under. So also when we're laying down, when we're in our bed, we can still pull these out and access our stuff. You know, it's not underneath us. So I think that's a really cool benefit. Um, one of the best things that we did this year, which is, seems silly, but it's actually pretty amazing, is this red strip here that, well, Nate painted it red, but um, again, we used to have all, all of our tubs up here, and because this is wood, uh, when we'd be driving, they would slide out. So we, had to, we used to have to have a bungee cord that went across here that kept them in. So this year, Nate added this, which is, you know, a simple quarter-inch piece of wood, but it does keep all of our stuff from falling out as we're driving, so it's very beneficial. And then the way um, that we organize stuff is that uh, we each have a big tub and then a little tub. So this one is mine and this one's mine and then these two are Nate's. Uh, and here I kind of put all of my uh, like pants, my uh, short sleeves, long sleeves, just regular clothes. And then here, this is all my technical stuff. So rain gear, um, I've got my insulated stuff, I've got hats, gloves, stuff like that. Uh, these shelves are new this year. Uh, Nate kind of said that he has one and that I have one. So and in mine, because I probably have more crap in mine, I've got all of my underwear, bras, and socks, because I got a lot of those. Brush, um, the essentials for night, so earplugs and stuff. Uh, in here, I've got um, a mirror, feminine products. I've got my sewing kit, just, you know, random stuff like that. We've got all of our books and stuff back here. Um, this thing is called the heel coaster, which is, seems silly at first, but this is essential if you're going to be chilling out on something uh, hard, some hard surface. So we each have one of those. I've got the cool cover, obviously. Um, but then everything fits in here. So this is kind of like more of our miscellaneous stuff that we didn't really have a place for. And in previous years, before we did this, it kind of was just floating around everywhere. So now that we have these shelves, it's kind of been... I'd say probably the best invention this year that we've added um, to the van. It's just really helped us organize our lives. Uh, and then under here, we have um, all of our sleep stuff. So as we're traveling, um, we just keep it all under here. And then we'll lay out our sleep pads and both of us um, sleep here. So um, for me, my side, um, you know, I'm short enough where I can just lay with no issues here. Nate, though, was a little bit too tall. So he actually cut, if you look back here, cut this whole um, area out so he can actually push his feet into the trunk so he gets a little extra space uh, and then it's also helpful if it's raining and we need to grab something from the trunk um, depending on what it is but sometimes we can just grab it right out of there so um, but right now I'll pass it over to Nate and he'll do a demonstration of what it looks like to lay down <laughs> Here, I'll get a little wider angle. So normally we put the sleep pad in and our gear up here, but see, so nice and easy. Both fit under here mm -hmm. on rest days. You can hang out in here. You've got space. You can hang stuff above. We can move this. You can do sit-ups if you want to. <laughs> you can spin around. You can take your clothes off. You can kind of do a, a shower if you want to kind of clean up in here. Yeah, and then we actually, when we shut that curtain, nobody can see us asleep back here, which is nice. So it's very private. Um, we've also, which I should shut uh, your door, Nate. So as this is shutting, you'll notice um, that's actually insulated, and then there's also um, a wood panel over it. So it's completely blacked out here. So when we have our curtain up, which is all blacked out, and then we have all of our doors shut, um, it's really nice and cozy back here. Uh, and it's also pretty soundproof, which is kind of funny, you know? You'll hear people playing music and stuff at campgrounds, and we shut this, and it's, you know, as cozy as can be, so. Home sweet home. So the coolest part about our packlet here is I actually found it in the dumpster. Ta-da! So it's all made out of fiberglass. It's nice and light. We've got our crash pad up there. We've got um, some more pieces of wood for when we need to like shim our car. 
Um, we've got anything up there that we don't usually use all of the time. So we've got tools and tape and stuff up here as well. And um, it keeps a lot of stuff out of our way. And it's actually a lot bigger than um, you'd expect. So and it looks slick. Ta-da! Um, so now we've put everything away, so this is what it actually looks like usually as we're traveling. So um, just to show you what everything is, and here we've got our spices. Even though we're on the road, I still do like to eat well and to cook. So um, and here is anything, um, you know, fruits, veggies, we got eggs in here. Anything that possibly could go bad stays in there. Um, this is a little bit more organized now, so doesn't that look nice? We've got our paper towels up here, so we could use as needed. Um, back here, we've got some water bottles, um, pickles, some other stuff. Um, and then these all contain our food, so we've got food in here and then food in this pink one. Um, these three tubs tend to be more uh, climbing equipment. We also have some, like our backpacks and ropes here. Um, black diamond helmets, the best helmets around. Um, we've got our cilantro right here in a cup. So, um, oh, and then we've got lights here, which Nate added, which I thought was nice, which, you know, you can't really see right now because it's daylight, but um, when it's night and you're getting into the trunk, that's always really nice to have because you could also turn these to which way that you want them to face, so. Um, so we took a bunch of stuff out because we want to show you actually the ins and outs of it. Um, so first of all, Nate added this nifty thing this year. So um, if we wanted to put our stove here or if we want to use it as a cutting board, we can chop stuff right here. It gives us lots of extra room. Um, we have these really nice spice rack back here, um, which is some spices and also just some junk that we throw up here. But we've got our bread, pickles, some soap. Um, you know, all of our condiments here. If you notice, this is pretty deep, which is one of the things that's awesome about having um, an Odyssey here, is that we can still fit a full-size tub, a small tub, and we even have this uh, table which folds out, which um, we'll shove back there for now. Um, right here, this is the best spot that we found to keep our stove when we're not traveling. So, we just take this, there you go. All right, so here we have our uh, the Goal Zero. We got three Boulder 15s, one Boulder 30, uh, mounted on a uh, roof rack, pretty much a normal roof rack, but I modified it, um, bolted them all together, riveted it together. This feeds the Goal Zero inside, which makes it real easy with Goal Zero because you just plug the little blue cable to the blue cable, green to the green. <laughs> And then this year, uh, I added a roof vent. You can look right here. It opens. That's powered off the battery. Runs about uh, 20 uh, watts off of that. The sun is a lot hotter than that. We pull in more than that normally when we're in the sun. So on a hot day, uh, we can roll up the windows, go climbing for the day, park it where the solar panels are hitting the sun turn the vent on and when we come back eight hours later our car is not 150 degrees it normally tends to be like 80 degrees um, also helps with condensation uh, and then yeah it's just a nice little thing back all right guys thanks for watching um, this is the tour of our van if you have any questions feel free to ask us um, but otherwise follow us on hashtag dirtbag odyssey <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>